Welcome back to Sailing Kuokoa, and this is my revisit to the 2020 Beneteau 46.1. We already got our boat, which is a Beneteau 411 and the 1999, and we loved it, but I wanted to come back and revisit this boat. We did look at it before we got ours. Obviously, this is in a completely different price point, and so I still like to dream, and I know this is going to be a part of my future one day. And I think this is my favorite boat of all the boats. So enjoy going through it with me a second time now that I have a little bit more experience under my belt. Oh, beautiful. I really like that. This is already set up for a Dodger. Your Dodger slots. Surprised they didn't go with the arch. So on the 45, you have the arch, which I like a lot. But instead, you've got the big... This is a very large Dodger arch. I like this. Well, yeah, you lay out here. There, there are um, sun pads to lay on right here. Yeah. Here, we'll go down in just a second. The cockpit. So honestly, how do you feel about the cockpit size? It's really nice. I know that... Yeah, you've got to you got to shimmy through. I love this. Here. This here. Yeah, that's a place to lay down, yeah. and it's protected when your Dodger is this up. Is wider. That's big, and look at the glass. Yeah, I love that. That's it's, really nice. It's wider than our seats right there. This, yeah, these seats are. They're deeper, like a lot deeper, like. I'm so lean back a bit like sit in the seat like it takes up there's yeah. almost laying down room there yeah. for you because you're like three feet tall yeah this is nice it's very wide it's very it, you're gonna be comfortable sitting outside yeah Ours is a little bit and small. this has so there's big walkway yeah for dog every time he's walking around so cockpit livability is considerably greater. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. This has electric winches. It's got the electric winch here. And then all of your lines run all the way back here. I like that. So, you don't so I'm I don't have to come and mess with anybody up there while I'm Well, the 41 does the same, the, or the 40.1. So the question is, is, is well, I, I'll have to look at both. It's The 40.1 isn't out yet. And is this a real space or is it just like ours? Because no, this is... Me, like, I want a refrigerator. You can have there. a refrigerator unit there. Here. Uh... That's an ice box. Yeah. That's a light. Oh. And then this. Okay. Oh, well, this is nice. You can have. And then that. It's a, um, having one refrigerated is an option. I do like the cup holders here. Mm -hmm. We have cup the compass. holders, but the cup holders are weird. Oh, they're just small. It's from the 90s. Um, I do wish they had the. I, I do wish that they. Um, did they, did they have the, the, the throttle was up. They don't? What? They do, right? The throttle is right here. Okay. What the for the, the power? The throttle is where you move forward and backwards. No, we don't have it right now. Oh no, you're thinking of does it have um, bow thrusters? Oh, yeah, bow thrusters. And and this does have the bow thruster. The bow thruster control is right here. Oh, okay. Because I think that's important. On a boat this size, it is. Yeah. I, I just, you know, the thing I can't get over, because the re only reason I'm looking at any other boats is the size of the cockpit is one of the major things. Yeah. It, it changes all the livability. This right here, this big open area, I mean, I can hang out here and you can hang out here and we've got room. I'm not tight. And dog is, is here. Yeah. And the other thing is, is I love the Bimini. 
And I love that space right there, uncluttered. There's no winches. No, I like that a lot. I like that. Yeah. To put some cushions there and just chill. Very nice. So the next question the is... steps are easier for dogs. Interior livability. Yeah, this is much easier for dog. Oh, so much easier for him. Oh, they're very, very, I mean, yeah. Those are like real steps. And you know what? This has a stove and a refrigerator that works. This is big. Look at this. It's a Bleep. refrigerator. It feels cold. Yeah, but it's, it's big. And so in comparison to ours, bringing the, bringing this space right here out, mm -hmm. not all the way back like ours is, makes it a lot more usable. I'm telling you, honey. So between this, right, this, I'm look at, cabin. yeah, I know. Hold on. Don't get back to the cabin yet. Stay in the kitchen here with me. Stay focused for a second. This space and this space make the kitchen very workable mm -hmm. very workable and then the glass the yeah. windows yeah this these are big windows so all the way across it. and this opens up here i really like this is this what the kids got with the broken with the big hole on the floor they got a 49 49 this yeah but it's an this. it's an older boat though it's a bit older Nice shower. Nice Go in. I want to see. So, our, our, hold this. <laughs> our, um, bathroom? Our front bathroom, our front head. I, I have to go. Yeah, like, you gotta be squeezed. I've got to go like this to do everything. <laughs> and if I had to shower, I'm, I'm like this. Whereas this. It's not huge, but it's much bigger. Oh my God, got baby. frosted glass Because right here. our bathroom is so small, this bathroom feels huge. I'm telling you, I can get you anywhere I want to go. Look. When you get this boat, then you call me. <laughs> this is very nice. I, this is plenty of room yeah. to do. <laughs> oh, look, it's got LED lighting up on top here. Yeah. The, it's got a nice big LED That's strip. That's awesome. That's wonderful. And then the other thing that ours doesn't do well, that they totally improved on, in my opinion, angling this, angling yeah. the mirrors. The mirrors in ours, yeah, I have to get down here because they're low. And then um, I know that... Oh, look how smart that is. That's smart space. Our medicine cabinets are... Sh Less than ideal. <laughs> and then the other thing... So, so the, the bathroom is amazing. This is an electric flushing head. Oh, okay, great. Fresh, fresh water, electric oh, head. Oh, my God. Now, look behind you. Look at your, look at your room. It's so into the stateroom, you've got that nice glass up on top of your head. Cabin. Yeah. So that opens it up. It's a very large. It's a very large aft cabin. Him. Open up the, and then tell me what you think about the feeling of the cabinets. It's nice. It's good quality. Yeah. Oh, those Maybe. are big. Maybe it's, 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 it's nice. Is it leaking? <laughs> there are no um, look there. at the ledge. I know. So you notice I, I, coming back in the boat now that I live in one, this ledge. Is it's, something it's a I know. I like, and I like it because you put your stuff there. We have, you know. Our and that big glass. window. Yeah, you're not claustrophobic. No, and there's quite a bit of headroom. Yeah, the, this other cabin is nice too. This it's the cabin? same. It's the same thing. I love this big glass up on top Baby, there. You will. You will. And so they've got a nice generator already installed back here, an Onan generator. Look at where it is. That's terrific. These are comfy. I'll make money with this one. I'll make money with this one. I really love. 
Look at that nice large. Look at these lockers. I know. No, come here. But stick with me for a second. Look. Yeah, I know. But wait, there's more. Yeah. And then. Look. And I'm sure under the bed. I like that it's on, an hinge, on a hinge and it's easy. Under the bed. You've got your cruise air, air conditioning controls for in here, your lights. And then. You, there's got another window and another yeah, window. Yeah, and but this window slides shut. Mm. It does on the other one too. I love this boat. This is my dream boat. Yeah, this is this is very comfortable. I don't need more boat than this. This is well, very very comfortable. You always need more boat. A look at that refrigerator. Look all the space here. Oh, it's cold too. Yeah, it works. Oh, I might get that refrigerator. There is a working refrigerator. I wonder if I can replace my refrigerator with that one. All right, I got, I got the So this is the shower. Is this self-contained? I might, I might switch. You know what? I might switch. I might pull out our refrigerator and install this in the back, baby. Well, yeah, because look, this is all... So all of the refrigeration is contained right there where ours lingers throughout the space. There is no refrigeration here. The seacocks are beautiful. Oh my God, I've never been so turned on by sea before. No, like you're, you're broken. And then look at that nice deep bottom there. But this, look, look how this. Damn. And it stays open. We have all these weird black things all around But see, it. so if everything is just right here, this ends up being bigger than ours. It cools better, and I could, I, baby, I don't think this is any bigger than what we currently have. No. I could switch out. That would be great. That's what I want to do. And look, you just go like this. Really? You don't have to, like, fight for your life that that is going to come in your head? It's going to hit you in the head and knock you down? Damn, I look good, sweaty, man. Okay, so now this seat. Yeah, this is nice. No, but look. Look what this does. If I'm not mistaken. So you can have your TV on the wall here. <laughs> Old feet. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very uncluttered. I like the wall panels a lot. I think that's a great solution for the walls. Um, what do you think about the, the salon? I love it. Spacious. Do you think it's big enough? Yeah. For you to live on full time? No. Why isn't it big enough to live on full time? <laughs> it, so you wouldn't live on this full time? I don't know. I don't know. I think this solves a lot of the full time living on. Yeah. This chair right here. And that, because you can go ahead and that goes down and then you've got a bed right there. Mm -hmm. And that solves a lot of the full time live aboard problem that we have. It does. Just being able to drop that down. I and think it's a great boat. It's a great size. It's designed correctly for a legal board. They did a really good job. It's nice. That, um, the galley is awesome. I think because a refrigerator and a lot of stuff is broken, anything that has, stuff, any boat that has working <laughs> items, 
nice. Maybe it doesn't open any. I just have to be smarter than it. Ah, there it is. It's like clip on top. Those are pretty deep. Good solution. I like it better than our current, the way ours opens right now. Because my finger always gets stuck in it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I hate that. I'm actually looking at it at a, from a different angle from the last time I was on. Ooh. They hid all of the, all the stuff, like all of the controls for the boat right here. It's, it's. Very nice. Okay. Sell your boat and buy something like this. Eventually, I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, no. But this is nice. I like. It's really nice. I like that there are places to be comfortable on set. It's very nice. Is there a televator back there? No, but there's more storage here. That's my next stop. Oh, look, wine. Wine rack? Wine rack right there. This is the layout that I'd want. Mm -hmm. I love that two oh, cabins my there. Goodness. I didn't know that I liked that two cabins, but I do. Because that's a lot of opportunity for taking people. I still need my mattress, but this is not bad. Actually, this is a good mattress. This is really nice. Those are two big windows. Yeah. That slides open. Yeah, I know. And then look at the closets. I know, just so nice. Here and uh, there's there's one on each side. Mm -hmm. Wow. Separate from your shower. Yeah. And it's a big shower space with two sinks. And a big toilet space. E enough to sit down. I don't have room to sit down in the front head. The back one, you have plenty of room in. The The master is yeah. has got plenty of room. Yeah. I like this. And then you've got... Your window there. Screen and yeah. shade. Yeah, this is very nice. And there's more than, I've got shoulder room. Like, the nice thing about this is you do have shoulder room, mm -hmm. which is really, I'll tell you what, you need to look out for it, especially if you're going to be doing full-time live aboard, unless you're just like, I surrender, which I would do. I, I will say surrender, but this is so much space that if I was on the seas, I would break myself. <laughs> because it gets crazy, man. <laughs> yes, it does. It gets crazy. He's um, not kidding. It gets crazy. Does that hold? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a clip there. Yeah. There is a clip on the bottom. And then when you shut this, well, first video this. So you have plenty of room. And th this is the shower mm -hmm. stall. And it's got the spot. Oh, look how nice. It's like a real shower. A real shower up and down. And it's separate. So you're not pulling it off of here yeah. to there. We can do that in ours. But um, there's a nice seat, so if you are going crazy, you can sit down and shower and go for the rodeo ride. <laughs> <laughs> um, which happens. Which happens. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. The struggle's real. And then I want to show this. So I like this a lot. So access to the bed. Right now we have a Pullman berth. Yeah. Can you see me on the camera? Yes. Right now we have a Pullman berth, which means I have to climb over to get on the inside. And then when I come out, because it's about this high, I basically fall off every morning. I just, <laughs> like, ah! it's, I'm not exaggerating. And my dog cannot even get but to it. Being able to just walk up island berth is a big deal. In a, in a bed that is rectangular, our bed is like a weird shape like a v shape and then i cannot tell you 
So from being a full-time liveaboard right now, the other thing that I can tell you that you'll love are the windows inside the cabin yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Having those windows reflect the water yeah. into the cabin and then you see the, the water reflection in the, throughout the ceiling and everything, it's awesome. Yeah. It's also nice that you can shut these so that you can sleep a little longer and not get that light in. But you've got those massive, those are big windows. Yeah. And then you have these big hatches up on the top yeah. as well. And these have the blackout and the bug screen. That's awesome. So you can open it up and you're not stuck. And this is so much better than on ours as yeah. far as the quality and how that works. Yeah. Um, ours is These not that boats smooth. came a long way since they built our boat. <laughs> they come so far yeah and being able to have the storage on the side on the bottom here you've got um, a place for your phone and yeah. other devices i bet this is usb yeah two, yeah two usb on each side so i can yeah charge up my phone and my watch at night and have that always there there's an air conditioning control setting right inside the cabin yeah which is amazing Things that I've never looked at but do look at now are you've got your ventilation for your air vents coming right out. You know what I head. don't see here? Fans. No, that's an ad. Um, it's a, well, uh, that's it's about a, I guess it's just it's an you ad, don't need them if you have a air, working air conditioning. <laughs> no, you, you're going to have to add the fans. It's, it's something you'll come in and add. But I love... <clears throat> There's more, more storage. And the thing I like about the storage is it may be up on the bed, but I'm it's comfortable access out of the way of the general area. Mm -hmm. So that means when I'm thinking about function in here, excuse me, when I'm thinking about function in here, I'm thinking I can be in my closet on my side of the bed and you can be in your closet on your side of the bed and we don't have to be or close bumping up not, on top of each yeah. other deciding who's going to be in the um deciding who's going to be in the bedroom getting ready yeah because we're all on top of each other it sounds romantic but it's not <laughs> oh look at that awesome now this panel is down but I like seeing how the um, the top comes together. Mm -hmm. And if you had to make changes or if you wanted to run wires for speakers or something like that, how easy it would be to, to do that. because yeah. and to access this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Honey, this guy is hot. It's hot like hell. This is Dreamboat. This is beautiful. Very nice. Um, I do think, so this, is that set? Yeah, you have space. I'm sure you have space all around the, all the, um. Uh, well, space. your air conditioner is here, just like in ours. Mm -hmm. So there's some function, working, there's some working items. But I'm in love. In love. The only complaint I have about this boat that I'm sure they can modify is the um the door i'd want it to be not a slide in but to open it? i'd want it to be able to open that's something that you do yourself uh, it's i'm sure it's, it can be done but that's but this two cabinets these two cabins make sense this cabins make sense there's so much storage in the in the um with having this extra wall of storage in the mass in the in the kitchen is big. Um, this is much more solid. Mm -hmm. I walk through here. This is so much more. Our floor here. feels like it's gonna just you're gonna fill up. I know. I'm sweating. I'm sorry. It's hot. It's Florida. It's 82 degrees outside, and then here we've got the greenhouse effect. But. Um, in hours, there's give in the floor. I know, I'm sure I have to replace some of the floorboards, but this is just, this is like a house. It's solid. 
Um, really nice. Those are big. I love this. Mm -hmm. I love this. So right now on our on our portals me. like this, um, we have covers on the outside. So we only have one way to be, and that is either wide open, and then you have to take those things off, or this you get you don't have to put anything on the exterior, and you can just shut them. That's amazing because I love the light. I want the light. Especially here in Florida, we're about to have a really nice winter where winter is 65 degrees, 50, 65 degrees, and I'm going to want those open. It'll heat this space just fine, and it's going to be amazing. The last thing I do before I walk out of this is I love – come stand over here real quick. Just I want you to see something. So just look that way. The view I'm looking at is, is I love those windows in the back, in those back cabins. I feel like it opens up the space all the way through and makes it feel like a bigger space. I feel like I could live in this space full time because of this being here. I do feel like it's open enough. I don't feel like it's a, a colossal space. In comparison to ours, it is. It's a very wide effing boat. Wider. I believe it's a foot to two feet wider than our boat. Uh -huh. Ours is 13. I think this is 15. The windows are bigger. It's more light. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I, I love this for hanging out and then doing the work. I, I'm not working in there. I, don't, I, 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 uh, re I refuse to see any work. Any space oh, is a working space. They got Bose speakers throughout. Yeah. Surprised they have those bows and I don't see a television. I need to get my struts fixed. Oh, look how nice that engine looks. Oh, nice the end mark. So, so clean and nice. <laughs> so the big difference between this and mine is look at all of the room you have on top. I can get in and back, and then these two walls come off on either side. So there's easier access all the way back, and then it goes on. But this, this is pretty easy. And then, yeah, you've got easy access for your oil change for the whole bit. That Yanmar is beautiful. I would like a little more access on the sides. You can get, there's your oil filter right there. That's easy. I don't need that much more access. Access to your gas lamp here. In ours, I don't even know how we can even look on the back of the gas line. Look. If you have any issues with that, you're able to easily access and fix it. Well, I, I do love this. Um, I do love the angle of the stairs for the dog. Yeah. The stairs are like, no, he'll, he won't have any issues. With no, that. it's this is easy. You got a 45 degree angle. Oh, it's amazing what 20 years will do. <laughs> it's 20 years. This has a self-tacking jib right here. So when you pull this out, there's there's nothing to do. All you do is you pull this out. It's not the setup that I would get. But on this boat, it's particularly easy. Come out here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's huge. Is that a... It's massive storage. Yeah, it's and is, I don't even, I don't even think that's anchor storage. No, I think that's, that's just fenders. Right yeah, no, that's separate. That's just fenders and gear and stuff. That's impressive. Yeah, that's really nice. 
appreciate stories on these boats. Redo it, honey. Look, you left that Can you push it in? I like the stainless steel um, guardrail. Mm -hmm. Wind electric windlass is wonderful. I know it's standard on these things, but. And then you got a deep anchor locker. Mm -hmm. You can have a couple of anchors there. We do have two anchors, but I do love the bow sprit. But look at how wide and how open. Yeah, and again, you can put some sun pads. Sun pads there and here. If you're yeah, somewhere just well, chilling. right here and then with a pillow right there. Uh, it's just it's so much space. It's a lot of space. And this is an area where you can lay out, and that's an area you can lay out. This is our next boat. This is where we're going to travel. The this one that we have right now is what Caribbean. we have right now. It's the Caribbean. The one we have right now is for the Caribbean. This is the one I'm going to pick up in three years yeah. or two yeah. or the end of this year. Yeah. Um, I agree with all of that, whatever you're ready. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is for the next boat. This is, this is next boat. Ridiculous. Awesome. Yeah, it's really neat to see. So that's the previous generation of this boat. Mm -hmm. And it's neat to see how, do you see how the design mm -hmm. smooths out and becomes more ergonomic and mm -hmm. I want this one. Yeah, I agree. I, want, I don't even want to look at that one. I just like this one. All right, let's go. I, I need a drink. Okay, I'll get you a drink. I, the things, the things, there's are so many the the lounge area right here. Yeah, I love that. The place where you can lay down. And how large that Dodger is going to be. That Dodger is going to go all the way over yeah. the companionway entrance. Yeah. I love how big that companionway is. I could have my backpack on my head and have that go all the way back and easily walk up and down these stairs without... So pretty. Awesome. Oh, wow. Another spot for fenders for easy access to your inverter. Mm -hmm. That's so if you look here, you got nice big storage. When people knock a production bow, I just think it's ridiculous. Yes, a custom boat is wonderful. But, um, uh, there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with the production boat, in my opinion. You can get so much boat, and if you take care of it, you can have a vessel that's going to last you a long time. Back here. These are big and deep. That's, that's very spacious, and it goes all the way on the side. That's great. And then is this not that deep also? I imagine the cabin is underneath it, so it's just not going to be that well, big. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm okay with that not being deep because you have the cabin being a, a good-sized cabin. Yeah. So you're comfortable when you have you have headroom, you have you have space. And then you got a spot for your um, life... Your lifeboat. Oh, that's where it goes? Yep. This is all the boat I need. I can't even tell you how much I love that swim platform. Yep. Very nice. And then just look at how wide that thing is. Mm -hmm. The question is, do I like the retractable davits like that? Or do I prefer this big, heavy setup. So if I want to put solar panels up there, I'm sure there is a way to put solar panels. You still need a, a, a an arch. I'm gonna get it. So I know you're supposed to be happy with what you're with. <laughs> I am. 
I was super happy with that. But, you know, you always start with something and then you want to grow. And that's what I want to grow into. Now, the other boat that's an option for me in the future is the 40.1. Um, and there may be, uh, there might be aspects of the 40.1 that I like even more than that. One is one central head um, instead of two heads. My experience on rough seas is the um, front cabin and front stuff sucks when you're on heavy seas. It, I'd prefer to not use them. Uh, I may not need the space in the 46. There are also a couple things that they do. They have a one of the rooms in the 41 um, on my favorite layout can just be uh, it can be a workspace. It's your it's your it's your workroom where you put storage and in your tools and everything else. But here's the bottom of this boat. Got your bow thruster. And then Speedo. This is the shallow draft. I wouldn't want the shallow draft. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize. This isn't with a shaft drive. Didn't know this wasn't shaft drive. Still works, I don't mind. Holding crap. So smooth. Beautiful hole. Feels amazing. And then those two rudders. Oh. So good. Looks like they sanded it. Sanded it, gonna repaint it or something. This boat's fast. Look, I know there's another train of thought when it comes to sailboats, and that is that you get a big, heavy built boat. And Get real heavy built. I'm curious. My boat's been around for 20 years. It's already sailed the Caribbean and the Bahamas. It's a Beneteau. The keel joint is still good. The keel uh, bolts are still nice. Everything is good on it. I have a little work that I need to do just because it's a 20 year old boat. But every boat you buy is gonna have that. Um, everyone. So, you know, you're not going to escape it with a Halberg Rassi or a Tartan or a, or a um, Island Packet. You're going to have things to fix. You're going to have to reseat the, um, you're going to have work to do. So, I know a heavier boat might sail more comfortably. For me, I like the speed and comfort and size and style of that. But we'll see after I'm on a boat for a longer period of time and I can make those decisions. I'm out.